All right, what is going on, everyone? And welcome back to part two of our patch notes reading. So I've been breaking up the sections into smaller parts because this is probably going to be a, a long video if we didn't. So before, in the last episode, we talked about the Guild Wars and Marnie Realm changes in the family karma system. Gave you my thoughts and opinions of it. And next thing we're going to go on to is the new Marnie Realm system. Now, we've talked about this before, and we knew it was happening in the future. We just didn't really have a date of when. And so basically, the Marnie Realm got changed. Instead of getting your one hour and five minutes every day, you get up to like 11 hours, as it says. So the way it works is like you grind an hour and then you go do an hour of whatever else not in the Marnie Realm. Uh, go AFK, come back, go life skill, whatever. And then it recharges the time. So then the next hour is back in the Marnie realm. And so I've heard a lot of mixed reviews and different opinions of uh, this entire change. And I wanted to talk about this. So first of all, what are my opinions? And is this a good thing or bad thing? I personally think this is a good thing, especially for newer players as well. So from a geared person like myself and who's been playing this game for a long time, I've always said that I enjoy uh, adding catch-up mechanics for new players because you know what the worst thing that can happen is if you have all this gear and like you're at the 1% but the game is dead, suddenly nothing you accomplished means anything. So I think this Marnie Realm change is a good thing. Um, so I've heard it from both sides like, oh, open world is going to be less available. And to an extent, I can see that. But at the same time, I've done so many grind videos in like the past seven years, and you guys can watch it too, where I've done non Marnie Realm stuff and I've like not seen anyone. So realistically, here's what I would do to fix it if they were going to change anything in the future. Um, so I think this is a good thing. If people just want to PVE and grind in a circle for 11 hours a day, cool. I don't care. It doesn't affect me. So here's what I would do. Instead of having um, this recharge every hour, and well, actually, no, here I wouldn't change it. Here's what I would add on top of it. So people said they don't get PvP anymore. This is what I would do. Add an additional like two or three Arsha servers. So basically, if you don't know what Arsha is, it's the open world PvP realm, right? And there would not be any Marnie Realm there as it currently is. There is no Marnie Realm and it wasn't there before either. So what they would do is increase the drop rate that you guys can get. So like at the top of your screen, um, you would see how like you get an Arsha bonus as well if you were on there. Raise the total from like 300 average or I guess it would be 400 if you had Castle and Arsha. Raise that number to like 500 to give people an actual incentive to be on Arsha. And if you want PvP, add like a few more servers to that. And so that way, all the PvPers, you can go into Arsha, get your grind in. You get rewarded for doing it, actually. And everyone's happy. And then for all the people who just want to grind in peace, stay on the normal servers. You get your hour every other hour in the Marnie Realm. And I think that would be a fair balance for everyone. All the top-end PvPers, you get your thing as well. And... You just you just want to grind you get to grind in peace it, it doesn't hurt anyone so the use time the way it works is the use time will be charged once you have leave the marnie realm so like let's say once you're in it the timer ticks down once you're out of it timer ticks up again and it goes back up to one hour and five minutes that's cool and you can re-enter the realm and use it for the amount of time charge even if it's not fully charged so basically if you just leave for two minutes or like leave for 10 minutes come back and then you can grind another 10 minutes so uh, i think realistically you should wait the entire hour before going back in it not just like every half hour because buffs usually last in one hour intervals so just wait for the extra hour go life skill go do something else for an hour go make yourself food or take a break and then grind when it's full again so that's how I would do it. Um, use time can be charged when your family or your character stays in the world of Black Desert and not charged when logged out. Uh, I think that's fine. It doesn't really bother me. 
So it's encouraging people to stay online longer. Nice, nice. Um, yeah, so I've definitely heard a lot of good and bad things of it. I think overall it's a good thing. And yeah, so that's how I would fix the problem if I was a GM or a dev of the game. Just add more Archer channels, increase the item drop rate and everything. That way it's more notable to actually be there instead of getting uh, 350 to 400 percent um if you're on arsha and castle uh just raise it up to like five six hundred something double it i guess that way uh, everyone wins and then people can grind in peace pvpers can get their pvp action and yeah so overall i think it's a good thing um the fact that people are complaining about no open world you, you really didn't see anyone I've grinded basically every spot in the game. I could think of maybe like one or actually less than five grind spots that would actually be contested at any given time. And especially at the higher end, um, usually people are more courteous because when you're grinding like a 300 AP spot and you know crystals can be lost, um, usually people are nicer about it and they're just like, how much time do you have left or yeah, all that kind of things and then come back. So I don't know how it is really at the lower end and mid grind spots, but generally um, I would like to think that people are more courteous about it. So I think it's an overall good change. But anyway, that's how I would change it. Uh, we'll be talking about a few more things in the patch notes, but we're going to split it up into a different video just so we don't make them too long. And yeah, just give me your thoughts and opinions on the entire change. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think my change was good or bad? And maybe we'll get some stuff changed in the future so with that said thanks so much for watching hopefully you guys have a fantastic day uh if you didn't catch the previous episode of the patch notes where we co covered the guild wars and marnie system uh i would definitely check that out because i definitely had a lot of opinions on this one so i think that you should check it out and i also gave solutions on what i would do to um improve or i guess fix the entire thing so yeah, uh, let's actually let's talk about this one before we head out as well. Um, a Tannis element, and this one is basically you get it from defeating monsters. You can exchange these. You can exchange your uh, thingies for extra potion pieces, or if you already have your potions, fruits which are good for alchemy and Krogdalo stones. I wouldn't re really change it for Krogdalo stones. If you're going for your infinite potions, these are probably the ones worth doing. Otherwise, um, fruits for all you people who do alchemy and crafting. So generally, I'd probably pick, pick these instead. But yeah, you grind these spots, you get extra bonuses for pity pieces. And I think this is definitely the more valuable one, depending on the prices on your server. So yeah, that's a that's another thing we talked about. Anyway, once again, thanks so much for watching. See you guys later. Peace.